So I'm going to walk you through some of the new palette reordering tools that are available uh, online in the zx.romysharp.com tools. Um, you'll know if you have the upgrade because you'll have this kind of palette shift and uh, sort uh, expand down here. If you don't have it yet, just hit refresh a couple of times and you'll it'll just load into your browser. So I've got a, a sprite sheet loaded up and um, I've got a custom palette here. Um, and uh, the first thing I want to show you is a uh, color shift. So this just shifts uh, a color value or a, a palette value left to right. So let's take this red. So if I just want to move it around, um, I can just click, go back and forth. Um, when I select the uh, the red, this becomes uh, like air quotes locked. Um, and I get this hint here saying you can shift click to swap with another value. So if I actually want to move the red down to or into that top position, hold down shift, uh, click, and uh, I select all the text, but it's swapped over. So I can move this around by holding shift, um, and it's handy for kind of doing much like further uh, palette shifts. Um, what, there's two things happening when I do this, though. The palette index order is changing, but also the sprite values are changing as well. Um, so they retain the color that you want, um, but the, uh, the actual values underneath the sprites are changing. Um, now, if you want to change uh, this yellow to a slightly different yellow, you would click over on uh, this side and select the color you want, and you can see that the palette is up actually updated. Now, um, there might... The, if you want to merge two uh, palettes together, it's not technically possible at the moment, or there's a workaround basically. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this palette by just kind of copying all of this text, go into the manual edit, just copy to the clipboard, um, and I'm going to go in and import a new image. Um, so I've got this uh, pointer here. Actually, just before I do that, I just want to show you if I try and import this in now, um, it's going to try its best to match uh, the colors that I've got here to the palette I already have. So if we zoom in and actually look at the, uh, the points that I've uh, imported, it's matched most of the colors pretty well, but the, the grays are kind of missing around here. Um, so if you look at the uh, the import image, you can see there's a bit more kind of subtle colors here. I suspect this purple is not quite an exact uh, match. Yeah, you can see kind of it, it doesn't quite match, but it's as close as it possibly can based on the colors I have. Now, if I wanted to import the palette, I would click on uh, the palette and it's say, you know, entire image or selection, click on OK. Now that's nuked my original palette because it's just overwritten the whole thing, but I copied it to my clipboard and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just insert this row, this new row into my, uh, my previous palette. So I'm just going to go into the editor um, and just manipulate that by hand. Um, and down here is the row I want to keep. So I'm going to cut that, get rid of the rest, and then find there's a nice empty row that I'm going to go into, paste over the top. And we've got colors all back in, and actually the colors here. Um, now, this sprite is kind of aligned to the wrong color, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, and then if I just re import, copy in, we check that sprite now, you can see much better. Um, now it could be, oh yeah, there's the gray, the purple, so that is a darker purple. So we've got a nice color match here. Um, this all looks good. We can reorder, um, uh, and we can also do sorting, which I I couldn't really get a decent uh, UI for sorting, so it's kind of a bit, bit rough and ready. Um, so you ha can sort on any uh, red, green, blue, uh, hue, saturation, and value, which is the same as brightness. Um, and you can also do reverse sort. So if I wanted to just, um, uh, I can do reverse sort, so I can also uh, do a, an offset and limit. So if I just wanted to sort this top row by RGB, I would do RGB 0, 015, um, sort, and it has moved, uh, rearranged this, this lot. Um, it doesn't look great. I mean, I don't think there's a perfect um, color sorting algorithm, but you can, uh, let's do the whole lot. Um, and let's do uh, green, red, and then negative blue, uh, sorry, red. So we can see it's put the reds down at the end, uh, so it's brightest. Um, and we've got the least amount of red at the top, I think. Oh, no, it's sorting by green first. Yeah, so if we want, there we go. Um, 
but importantly it retains the color in the sprite as well um, and there's something also to note here that the uh, there is a, a notice saying remember your tr global transparency is now at uh, 254 uh, so the transparency has been moved here so if you're then going to code you need to set your global transparency to this new index uh, typically it sits in uh, this value here to to seven um, so I might want to move things around a bit um, and I can actually switch the transparency back into 227 by holding down shift and putting it back over there and it'll drop into my code again so yeah I don't have any particular strong opinions about how to sort um, you know uh, your mileage will vary um, the manual edit is kind of a, a fallback that you can change the order. This does not affect the sprites, it just affects the palette itself. Um, and then you've got the color shift and the swap and so on, uh, which does directly affect the sprite data. Okay, so thanks for watching.